Hello out there and uh, welcome to my channel. I have just finished this tween vertical semi diesel or hot bulb engine during this winter. I have built an engine like this before 2006 as I recall, but I do not have the engine anymore. So I thought, why not build a new one? It takes a very long time to build such engine, but luckily you have forgotten how long time it took to build the last one. And you only recall it when you are ahead with the project. But it's still fun to have some challenges for your old brain. Anyway, there are some differences when you compare this new engine with the old engine. One of the main differences is that this engine has the two pistons going up and down at the same time, where the old engine had one piston going up while the other piston was going down and that created a bit funny limping run and sound. But this type of engine were often used in boats because they has a better balance and thereby less vibrations compared to this type of engine. Another main difference is that uh, this engine has a hot pop situated, mounted, at the top of the cylinder head and the injector at the side of the cylinder head while the old one had the hot bulb situated about where the injector is now and the injector where the hot bulb is now and that means that the old system had a kind of square combustion chamber while the new one has a combustion chamber in line with the hot bulb and it gives a much better combustion. Yet another thing, this engine has a bit bigger and a more heavy flywheel for more even running. The stroke at this engine is a bit longer. It is 36 mm and the old one, it was 34 mm. And the last thing is the water pump. I have made a water pump with a 6 mm plunger. The old one was 4 mm. And beside these differences, the engines are more or less the same. I will explain a bit about the construction of the engine and how it works. We have the base, the cos, and then we have six posts where the cylinders are mounted. It makes you maybe think about the construction of old steam engines. Let's start with the side shaft. The side shaft is connected via helical gear wheels to the crankshaft and at this point we have an eccentric for the water pump and the end of the side shaft we have another helical gear wheels connected to the flyboard governor and we also have two cams for the injection pumps at this end of the side shaft it's connected via another pair of helical gear wheels to the camshaft and uh, all the cams is as you perhaps can see uh, secured by means of set screws it means that I'm able to adjust the cams individual at the point I find that the timing is right then we have the cam followers 
connected to very long push roads again connected to the rock alarms to operate the intake and exhaust valves the cooling system the water pump sucks the water from the water cooling tank and pumps it via a pipe this one to the bottom of the cylinders and the top of the cylinder another pipe is connected back to the water cooling tank then we have two adjustable blow torques to heat the hot bulbs one for each side and then we have an adjustable gas bottle for these blow torques I have made five side feed oilers one for each cylinder and one for each main bearing it could be difficult to synchronize the injection pump for the same amount of fuel for the injectors without having some kind of adjustment so I have made an arrangement to move one injection pump up and down for more or less pump stroke I have to lose the two nuts situated to secure the pump when doing this and of course doing it while the engine is running that's about it so let's go outside to watch the engine running the starting procedure I have lubricated all the moving parts and have oil in the side feed oilers and I have fuel in the fuel tank it's the engine runs on kerosene then I will fill up the gas bottle using lighter gas and uh, light the glow lamps or blow truck and they must burn for about two minutes. Let's see if we are lucky.
that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching.